All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on the new Passage series, mini series, kind of like webisode. Webisodes is gonna be chopped up and put into each episode for uh, The Walking Dead during commercials for season seven, leading up to Fear the Walking Dead season three, as well as give my thoughts on some interviews about uh, Travis becoming even more badass in the future. Sweet. All right, so links will be in the description for you guys. It is called Passage. And the first one will be to thewalkingdead.com. Second one will be to Cinema Blend. Uh, so first part. So it's called Passage. It's going to be a new uh, mini series. The first part has been posted. You guys can watch it. It's only 50 seconds long, uh, though. So uh, it's a lot like the uh, the flight. Um, was it uh, 462? What was the number? Yeah, flight 462 that they did last year, where um, it's like a webisode, really uh and they just chop it up like crazy and they put it into kind of the commercial time uh, during the walking dead to connect it and promote uh, fear of the walking dead so i'm kind of happy to hear that they're doing something like this it's kind of cool and the first clip is it's okay you know you've got somebody in a hazmat suit uh can't tell uh, african-american can't tell if it's uh, uh male or female due to the proportions of the, the face almost looks male but ah, i i can't you can't tell because all you can see is like this and the body is, is pretty pretty skinny. The the shoulder proportion to the head it's uh, it's really it's really hard to tell. I can't tell if it's a guy or a girl. But you guys can write your comments below and let me know what you think. And the official synopsis for Passage is quote unquote a fearsome survivor agrees to help an injured woman in exchange for an apocalyptic sanctuary. A new installment of the 16-part series is available every week on AMC.com, the AMC mobile apps, and on air during premiere episodes for The Walking Dead. So it's pretty cool. You got them walking around with a knife. You get a few zombie kills, and you got another girl. She's kind of running around. I uh, don't know what to make of it too much. We got an American flag there, so it looks like this is on U.S. soil for the most part. And it does look like the terrain sort of close to where our group in fear the Walking Dead is currently at, so near the border there, and um, we'll have to see what it relates to, but, you know, it'd be a pretty decent prediction, I think, to assume that these characters, at least one or two of them, will make it into Fear for Season 3 of Fear this uh, upcoming spring to summer. We don't have an official release date for it yet, and then we'll see what uh, what they've got for us, and if they uh, become important. They had uh, Alex from Season uh, season 2, and uh, she was she played an okay role, I want to say, in the season. Not a huge role, but it was, uh, you know, uh, something, and we may see her again in the, the future as well, too. Her and Jake. Uh, so for this one, we'll see what we got. We'll see what they have planned. Uh, for me, you know, I don't get too excited over this stuff, because the thing is, is they chop it up so much into 16 you know 16 parts that each part is like nothing by itself it's like you need to see more at one time for it to stand on its own to be something in early seasons of the walking dead they used to do webisodes which were pretty cool as well too and i actually prefer them so far from what we've seen for the fear sort of uh, mini series or webisodes um I actually prefer the Walking Dead ones because they had like a tie-in and uh, they're pretty cool to see, cold storage and stuff like that. Uh, Bicycle Girl one, which is pretty neat. You can still watch online, I think, on AMC's website. So you can check those out if you're interested, uh, the Walking Dead webisodes. There's still something fun to watch. So uh, this will likely be similar to the first season. should be okay. And uh, characters are going to connect in to Fear the Walking Dead Season 3. This might be the last Fear the Walking Dead video I do for a while, of course, with the Walking Dead airing this Sunday. Can't wait. So excited. Oh, my God. It's awesome. Um, so... That being said, uh, I'll give my thoughts on this one now. Link to Cinema Blend, and it is an interview with, I believe it's Dave Erickson. Um, we're going to see a badass version of Curtis in season three. Uh, Cliff Curtis, he plays. Uh, is it Cliff Curtis? He plays uh, Travis. Um, yes, I think that uh, you can't cross that line and then go back. That's not to say he's not going to protect Madison or be proactive uh, uh, or protective of her and Alicia, but he's going to go about that in a much, much different way. He's going to be somebody quicker to pull the trigger. He's going to be somebody who is far more aggressive. So I love to hear that. Yeah, it's Cliff Curtis. Um, so that's really cool. That's from uh, Dave Erickson. He is the um, the showrunner, of course, for Fear of the Walking Dead. And I think he's done a good job on it. And uh, yeah, Travis is my favorite character from Fear, for sure. Uh, 
um, you know, realistically, in a month from now, we're probably going to forget all about fear. <laughs> and then when The Walking Dead ends, we're going to be clamoring for it, being like, please, something else until The Walking Dead returns for season eight next year. Uh, and hopefully uh, no crazy all-out war cliffhanger this year. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, excited for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3 when it eventually comes back. Uh, but, of course, uh, a lot of people view it as just kind of like an appetizer, getting us ready for uh, the big uh, the big dude to come in, the big one to come in, uh, the man himself, Negan, to show up uh, real soon. So, I so, uh, can't wait for this weekend, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. I um, hope you guys will, uh, you know, check back and, uh, you know, enjoy uh, the reviews and, and all the good stuff and, and all the things that uh, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. And then, of course, after that's done, yeah, we'll continue with uh, Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3. I can't wait to see how badass they uh, transform, uh, you know, Travis, uh, what kind of badass they transform him into next. He's already gone pretty far, so um, can't wait to see what they have uh, in store for him next. It's going to be sweet. So uh, really excited, man. Lots of awesome, cool, fun stuff coming for Walking Dead. Uh, you guys can write your comments below. Let me know what you think. So excited for this weekend. Leave any questions for any final Q&As this week, guys. We have a few more days uh, leading up to the return for The Walking Dead Season 7. Oh, man, I can't wait. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please thumb it up below. You can also share it. You can favorite it. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, be sure to subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya. You better subscribe.